Hello everyone and welcome back to my Japanese prefecture tour in Flight Sim 2020. I have not done this series in a fairly long time, but that has allowed me to accumulate some additional scenery for Japan, as well as some new planes, including this Fuga Magister that is from Azure Poly, it is a payware plane, and we will be flying it from Hiroshima to Kobe, and that will cover, well, we'll be starting in Hiroshima prefecture, but we'll be going through Okayama, Totori, and Hyogo. Hyogo is where Kobe is and we'll be seeing the Himeji uh, castle among other sites although mo not too many sites on this leg uh, hopefully there'll be some additional scenery besides but uh, Kobe I've got some photogrammetry at thanks to the I, I, I don't know I think it might be just stock but maybe there, there was freeware anyway there's been a lot of freeware so anyway the freeware scenery peoples have been very productive on flightsim.to and I thank them for it. So anyway, this is the Fuga Magister, and let's get started. That is actually brake on. I'm so used to the brake being off at the start of the flight. That's a nice shadow because of the V-tail. Off we go. Got a full load of fuel just in case. So uh, Hiroshima Airport was one of the handcrafted airports. We might as well fly around one more time. It's got that interesting lead-in. Oh, uh, I wonder if I accidentally got a freeware Hiroshima scenery. It's conflicting or... no, I, I don't know what's up with the textures there. If, of course, there's some stock scenery and also... no, I think that was just uh, the Z fighting on the, on the stock scenery. The airport is really high up, as you can see. It's sort of on the plateau. It's a nice airport. Okay, but we're not supposed to go this way. Yeah, I mean, look at this. A very lofty airport overlooking everything. So first we're going to go south to Tatara Bridge and then we're gonna head north, uh, hit another bridge and that's in uh, Okayama. This is all Okayama uh, right around it. Right around here-ish. That's Okayama. And then we go north to Totori which is up here and then back down to Hyogo which is down here. So that's our route. I don't know whether people like having the HUD information up or not. Obviously it'd be more scenic without it. And on a, on most of the planes that I'll be flying during this series, I don't think I need to pay constant attention to everything. Uh, so I basically know the throttle settings to use. Uh, I'll leave it up for now just in case people are curious. I do have this alternate map here that is somewhat better than the stock map because it's got open street map stuff. So Hiroshima is like all the way over there. The airport for Hiroshima is nowhere near the city for Hiroshima. No nothing there seems to indicate what city this town this is. So. Oh, we're right in the sun. seem to be using a lot of trim. So there's the bridge. Let's get the, the... Unfortunately, the points of interest aren't on that map. The Tara Bridge is what we're looking at there. I think we visited it already before, uh, just in case can't quite see the cables. Yeah, there we go. Uh, some in the cables, but boy, they're they're thin. <laughs> uh, they're there, but they're really, really thin. We just follow, there's a road here. I think we can basically follow it to Onomichi and then Fukuyama.
Well, but <laughs> we can't really follow roads in uh, Japan that easily. There are a lot of tunnels, but I mean, we can see where this one goes in and comes out at least. We do have the map, of course. Trying to see if this road has a long, long name. Look at that name on the road. I think that there's two names because there's a semicolon there. That's too much. I was hoping for like National Road 1 or something. <laughs> Anything but such a long name. Well, a less magnificent bridge here, a causeway. There's an indication that this ought to be a, a suspension bridge. You can see sort of a reflection of a suspension bridge on the photo scenery. <laughs> because the photo scenery must have been taken at an angle. So that bridge should be looking much better than it does. Okay, so Onomichi. This is still Hiroshima Prefecture. Hiroshima Pre Prefecture is pretty big, huh? City of 141,000, Onomichi. You can see dock facilities, I'm sure. It was started off as a port. Shipbuilding yard, actually. It has a shipbuilding yard. It offers offers services to the all those islands and such. Seems like I'm flying in the wrong season though. <laughs> this isn't uh I should install the spring pack. Uh I've got the Bijan Hibashi tree pack and I think I've got the wrong season installed. I'll have to get spring in for the next flight. Fukuyama is next. Wikipedia says located on the Shida River, population 462,000. After Hiroshima, this is the second largest city in the prefecture, Hiroshima Prefecture. Founded as a castle town in 1619, so uh, because the guy was a cousin of the first shogun. So relative, I mean, uh, <laughs> a relatively new town. It's only it's only 400 years old, you know. Extensive port facilities as usual. So uh, we could get a better rendition of that. There was uh, freeware scenery for Osaka Bay, the port facilities, but that turned out to be really high frame rate impact, unfortunately. It looked really good, but it was super choppy, even on my new system. So I couldn't add that in and have the center of Osaka City at the same time. So Fukuyama still? To some extent, we're doing quite a lot of Hiroshima Prefecture this time. Kasaoka is next up. Okay, Kasaoka is in Okayama Prefecture, so I think maybe uh, like this river, one of the rivers must be like the boundary or something. So, yeah, Fukuyama is in Hiroshima Prefecture, and this is now Oka Okayama Prefecture. This is really new. City founded 1952. It's only a town of 50,000 or so. Probably because of the highway system and proximity to the larger city. The, the Kasaoka is the location of a protected horseshoe crab breeding habitat and features a horseshoe crab museum. <laughs> Horseshoe crab enthusiasts, there you go. Uh, this next city here, Asakuchi. 
is very, very new. Uh, it's, it was only officially established in 2006. So, I guess people started to live here and they decided it ought to be a city on its own. So, this on the Takahashi River. So, Takahashi River right there. This Kurashiki has a population of 483,000. It's older than uh, the smaller neighbors. It's actually the home of Japan's first museum for Western art, the Ohara Museum of Art. Again, all according to Wikipedia, I mean. <laughs> I'm no tour guide, I'm just looking at Wikipedia, okay? Oh, there's a, there's a Great Sato Bridge. Hold on, I see where the bridge is. We should go down to the bridge. I think that's why I had plotted on the GPS. Let's go down to the bridge first. There's a Great Sato Bridge. That connects to Shikoku, I think. We might have seen it before, but we might as well see it from this angle. You can sort of see it in the distance there. Yeah, it's just really loud in here. <laughs> This is loud. But it ought to be loud. I mean, that's not a complaint or anything. This is undoubtedly how... This is a early, like, 1950s turbojet. So, yeah. Very realistic. Okay, so Great Sato Bridge. Looks pretty great to me. is one of the handcrafted scenery pieces in the stock game. Okay, I think we get the picture here, turning around. We basically have to do a U-turn. Okay, on to Okayama, I think. There is uh, Okayama Castle. I don't know if... I don't think they have it here. Could be a good thing to get some freeware scenery for if there is some available. I didn't see it though, I don't think. There's some good packages for castles in France and Germany and a few other places, but... Uh, you know, I, I, I would like to do a castle tour, but there are a lot of places where they are lacking. Apparently, the city Okoyama is the setting for the Fable Momotaro. Which uh, I'm somewhat familiar with from watching a whole lot of Japanese shows. I did not realize that it was set in a particular location though. So we're taking a higher view of Okayama here. I don't think there was a particular site. I think I targeted the airport, RJBK, which you can see uh, right to our right there. It's a single runway. Yeah, and so I don't think we have Okayama Castle here anywhere. There'll probably be some stand-in building for it, but not the actual thing. Okay, uh, we're probably headed all the way north to Totori now. Uh, there's RJOB along the way. RJOB is actually Ogiyama Airport, so the one RJBK must be like a city airport, you know, regional. RJBK is actually Konan Airport. So we'll head over, take a look at... Oh, we can see the big airport right now. It's still a single runway. And on to Totori. So, backward view of Okayama. Except for the castle. There's not a whole lot to say about it, I don't think. Or, more appropriately, since it's a large city, 
There's probably a lot to say about it, but nothing in particular. Okay, directly over the airport now. And I'm trying to gain altitude to conserve fuel as we go over to Tutori. We can actually see the opposite water over there. The opposite coast. Well, we can't really see the coast, we can just see the water over there. Already. Fairly thin part of Honshu. I guess we can close the map there for a little bit. See the plane in all of its sort of cute glory with its V-tail. Little thingamajigs on the V-tail that I don't know what they do. I think, uh, though, this, those must be like for the rudder, yeah, that's, that's sort, of, sort of, I don't know why, but uh, rudder limiters? Interesting. Rudder actuator things. Totori, the city we're headed to, isn't particularly large. It's somewhat isolated compared to the cities that are around the inland sea that we just visited. So it's on the opposite side here. The cities on the north coast tend to be smaller. It apparently has sand dunes, but we're probably not going to be able to appreciate those very well. Actually, uh, Tatori Prefecture is the least populous prefecture of Japan, again, according to Wikipedia. So, I mean, well, when you take a look at the surrounding area, you just a uh, very mountainous sort of thing surrounding the... We can see the city as it is right now, you can sort of see it on the river there, but it's just mountains all the way around. Very rugged landscape. We'll just stay at high altitude over it. There aren't any particular sites that the game adds, unfortunately. But looking through Wiki, I'm not too sure what they would have added. Tutori Castle itself is in ruins, so... It was besieged by Oda Nobunaga during his attempt to unify Japan. Well, technically by Hideyoshi, uh, Oda Nobunaga's underling who eventually took over. Um, that was an intentional demolition. The Ministry of the Army in 1876 decided to dismantle the castle, uh, saying that there wasn't a castle, it wasn't necessary to have a castle there, to maintain a castle there, uh, since it wasn't, the, the prefecture had been incorporated into Shimane Prefecture, and so there only needed to be one castle per prefecture or something like that. Okay, I didn't really want to go down here. So it was an intentional demolition. But then, like, right after they demolished the castle in, uh, or began the demolition of the castle in 1879, three years after they decided to demolish it, uh, the prefecture was reestablished in 1881. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I don't know if, strictly speaking, they needed a castle every prefecture or anything, but still, the logic behind it sort of fell through when it became a prefecture again. Basically after the Meiji Restoration, the army, I guess, got all the castles. Sorry about the high altitude view, but I'm interested in making sure we remain fuel efficient for the time being. And there is an airport there. We can see a single runway airport right by the sea. 
Okay, time to turn. Well, see you later, Tori. Actually, we can see the sandy beaches there that are probably the location of the famous sand dunes. So now we are on to Hyogo Prefecture and Himeji Castle, very famous site in Hyogo Prefecture. Hyogo will be the first uh, prefecture that will be in that's part of the Kansai region of Honshu. The Totori and Okayama were part of Chugoku. It's interesting how uh, all these mountains, especially around here, basically look like islands in the sea of the lower ground there. I think I can see Himeji Castle grounds even from here right now. And here is Himeji Castle, major site, uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site and all. And I think I saw that they had sort of renovated it relatively recently. I mean, it's a pretty large complex, as you can see. Substantial walls. So there's Akashi. I haven't got many side views of the plane, so we'll get one here. Akashi Kaikyo Bridge there. And actually, uh, I guess more properly, we were over Harima before. I guess this part is Akashi. So yeah, that's another handcrafted bridge, Akashi Kaikyo Bridge. I mean, bridges in Japan are especially nice and important to the scenery, so I'm glad they've got this one. Oh, we can really see the, the urban center of Kobe from here, all those tall buildings there. So, do we have Fugrantry around here? Right now, there's all the generic buildings. Oh, wait. Things have suddenly changed. Uh, this needs to be a conflict or something. Hold on. Let me slow down. Okay. Uh, there's, there's some photogrammetry buildings here. There's Kobe Tower, which ironically is not as tall as some of the other buildings around. But these are photogrammetry. I think it's just this area here. A very small area. Go we'll fly a little bit around it. Uh, some of the photogrammetry needs some work. Uh, cattle, the shadow was cast on that building. That's the problem when they captured the image of it. Uh, I think somewhat, uh, it just needs to be fixed up. Oh, grammar tree is inconsistent sometimes. It's best to have like just custom models of the buildings, but that takes a lot of memory and such resources. So yes, Kobe City Center. Maybe better if I pre-cached it and I had not done so. Uh, going up. Oh, that's a nice building actually. And this one has a helipad on top too. A lot of them have helipads on top. And the port facilities are pretty robust here. There's a ship there. 
The airport's in front of us there on that island. I'll give one more go around of the city before we land. And next time when we go over to Osaka, we'll just focus on Osaka. That's an interesting building there. Got some interesting buildings right over here. Now, unfortunately, some of them not coming out quite right, but... That's a tower that's supposed to be something, but isn't quite rendered properly. Okay, now line up for uh, landing. Finally, we get to be in here. Should have probably figured out where the heck the lights were. I mean, the internal lights. Well, anyway, not the time for that right now. Okay, just want to show gear deployment. And flaps. The nose gear always takes extra long. Oh, oh no, there it is. I guess it was just really small. <laughs> it's very small nose gear. Okay, approaching Kobe Airport. Oh, just the right amount of sunlight to see the altimeter, speedometer, and the vertical speed indicator. <laughs> Perfect. Got these two little thingamajigs on the front there that sort of help us line up. <laughs> I don't think that that's what they're for, but hey, why not? It is a trainer, so maybe. Who knows? Okay. And touchdown! All right, no problems. The nose gear is really small, so we definitely nose down quite a lot. Actually, uh, you note that just in case they also have a little training wheel on the tail so you don't scrape off the ventral fin there. Okay, so here we are at Kobe Airport. I don't know if there's a special airport or not. We've at least got a nice tower. And if it is a special airport, I might have... Uh, the area around here has got to be a rich mix of the stock scenery and the freeware scenery. It looks like it has a name on the building, so it is custom. But I don't know whether it was a freeware custom. Might have been a freeware custom. I'm gonna occupy a gate. Would they have Kobe like that though? <laughs> I guess, maybe. Sometimes they just use the English letters. Or Latin script, if you will. Okay, well, I didn't follow the lines or anything. But next time, we are going to take a look at Osaka. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to have all the freeware Osaka scenery that's available. As mentioned, that is actually too much. So, we'll take what amount of Osaka we can get, and we'll be doing Osaka, Wakayama, and Nara. So, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.